Hello, I'm Helly McGowan and I'm a field specialist in horticulture with University of Missouri Extension. And I'm coming at you today from the beautiful Springfield Botanical Gardens. We are in our native shrub garden, which is sponsored by Bob, by Bob and Barb Kipfer. So today I wanna to talk to you about one of my favorite uh, butterfly host plants. So for this year's virtual butterfly festival, we wanna really get the word out about some different host plants. And this is certainly one of my favorite and one I think is a little bit underappreciated. And this is our native spice bush. And as you can see, it gets to be a pretty large shrub. And these are found um, throughout Missouri, but I think this would also make a great addition to a home landscape. Um, they do well in uh, full sun to partial shade, and they get their name because of their spicy aroma. So if you kind of rub the leaf with your finger and then smell of it, you can smell that really spicy aroma. And this is one of my favorite ways to identify this plant if I'm out in the forest or if I'm just kind of wondering what, what it is, you can, you can rub the leaves and smell that spicy aroma. Now something else that's kind of interesting about this plant is that there are males and females. And I don't know if you can see it here, but the females produce these little berries. And these berries will turn bright red in the fall and they are eaten by birds. So not only is this a great plant for butterflies, but it's a great plant for birds as well. So spice bush is the host plant for the spice bush swallowtail. And spice bush swallowtail caterpillars are interesting because they have several different defense mechanisms that I'll show you right here. And so the caterpillars eat and they grow and they shed their skin. And some of the early instars you can see here, they kind of look like bird poop. And so the idea is that birds will fly overhead. They will look down and see this, think it's bird droppings and leave it alone. As the caterpillars grow and get a little bit bigger, you will see these false eye spots on top of their head. And so the false eye spots are to scare off predators. It makes it look larger than it actually is, maybe resembles a snake or something like that. And so it is meant to scare off predators as well. And here's a larger one. He's got some pretty big eye spots on him as well. And so another defense mechanism for the spice bush swallowtail caterpillar is that they like to fold the leaves over and make a little place to hide. And they spin some silk and that silk causes the leaves to fold over. And this one's been eaten quite a bit, but usually they're perfectly hidden in there and predators can't find them. So they'll come out to eat and then they'll go back in their little hiding hole. Now I have a spice bush in my backyard and I love to go out and just look through the plant and see if I find any leaves, fold it over, gently open them up and see the size of the caterpillars in there. And it's just kind of a, a fun little thing to do in your own backyard. So if you're looking for a medium to large shrub for your home landscape that's uh, butterfly and bird friendly, choose our native spice bush.